Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from GraphicInMotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to customize my Particle Cloud Logo Reveal After Effects template. So let's get started and let's open up this project and I will use After Effects CC 2019 and you see that I get this information that After Effects has to convert this project and this is not an error, it just means that it was created with an older version of After Effects and actually this was created with After Effects CS6. So you can use this template with After Effects CS6 and all higher versions. One more hint, this template requires Trapcode Particular version 3. If you do not have the plugin installed, then this template will not work. But if you want to use this intro and do not own the plugin, then you can just contact me. I do offer customization services. Now let's get started with the customization and let's first of all import a logo. And to import the logo, we go to File and we choose Import, File, and in my case, I will use the Envato logo as an example. So I will import this file and now we move to the logo composition. If it's not already here in your timeline, then you can access it right here in the project panel. Just double click to open it up. Now let's drag in this logo and let's put it on top of my placeholder. And I will just turn off the placeholder. And now I will take a look and position my logo a little bit better. So let's scale it down a bit, maybe to 80%, something like that. And then move it up a little bit, just like that, to make room for the tagline. Okay, this is good. So the next step would be to import your audio. If you want to use the same audio that I use in the preview video, you will find the link to this audio to audio jungle in the project folder of this template and also in the video description. And to import the audio, you just have to do the same import file and then just drag it into the audio composition. Now let's move to the setup composition. So if we take a look now at our project, you see that the particles already changed and this is because they are automatically emitted by the logo that you insert. But the colors are still the same as in the beginning, so the colors are not really created by the logo, but by these lights that we have in this scene. And if you want to match the colors of the particles uh, to your logo, you have to change this a little bit and I will show you how to do this now. It's really not difficult. So let's change first of all the view to my two views horizontal because then you have a better overview of what is going on here. And you see that we have a particle cloud here that is actually lit by these four lights and this creates this nice uh, translucent kind of subsurface scattering look here. Okay, so to change the colors here, we can simply select the first light. And actually, I would recommend that you move your time indicator to something like the end of this animation so that we see our logo revealed. And now let's just position our first light above this green area here and make sure that you just move it on X and Y at this moment here. So we'll just put it above the screen area and now I will choose my lights here and I will type in color right here because then I get all the color controls of my lights and I will use these to colorize these lights and the particles. And with my light number one selected, I will just feature the color of my logo now. Now let's select light number two and let's move it up here in the middle somewhere and let's make it white match the logo and I will use light number three which is actually right here and I will just move it over a bit and also make it white and I do the same with light number four I will move it over here to the end of my logo and also will make it white if you need more lights, then you can just duplicate one of these lights by selecting it and pressing Ctrl D, then you create a new light. I would not recommend to create a new light by using new layer or new light because they are actually a little bit animated in their intensity. So just duplicate one of these lights and then you can put in more lights into your scene to light your logo. But in my case, these four lights are enough. Actually, I will spread them out a little bit better. Okay. 
And now if we want to take a look what this did, we can just move our time indicator back to maybe somewhere in between 100 and 125 and you see what this did. You see now we have a really cool look and we have the green over here and the whites over here and it is a bit blurred out. So to get rid of these really harsh uh, blurs, we can go to our setup layer and here we have light strength and light distance. So if we reduce the light strength from 100 to maybe like 80, you will see what this does. This will reduce the light strength quite a bit and we get this result. If you do not want to reduce the light strength, then we could also reduce the light distance to maybe something like 220. Let's see what this does. And you see this also uh, decreases the brightness of this look. I will undo this because I think the better way is to control these lights individually. So let's just select this light here in the top view and we can now move it back a little bit to just make it a bit more subtle so that we get not these harsh blowouts here and you see this already looks a little bit better so let's just move these back a little bit only a slight touch really not much is enough and you will get a really cool look like that okay i think that this looks really good so if we change back to one view and if we change to full resolution then you will see how this really looks like because the particles now look a little bit distorted because of the quarter resolution preview but if we render this in full resolution you will see how this looks like and it really looks amazing now you have a few more options to customize the look of this as i said already we have light strength light distance to change the overall look of your lighting and we have of course color controls for the background and because this is a little bit greenish I want to introduce some greens here so I could now feature a color maybe for my background something like this dark green here and you will see this will change the lighting or the, the color here quite a bit and actually it looks quite good and we could also change the color of this texture. You can also turn off the texture in the background by just checking this checkbox. If you uncheck it, then you will see that this texture goes away and you have a little bit more of a clean look. So this is up to you. And you can, of course, also change the color of this texture, maybe to a intense green here, feature one of these, and you will see how this will change the look. Now everything is kind of green. So now you can move on and customize the tagline, which is this text layer right here. And you see that it is starting right here. So let's move our time indicator to a later point in our animation when this is fully revealed. Now we can double click this and enter your tagline. Okay. And you can, of course, now position it however you want. Just take this layer and move it. You can, of course, also change the font and the size and everything in the character settings. You see that I use a font that is called Nexalite, but you can use really any font that you like. Okay, so this is more or less a standard customization for this template. Now you are ready to export your video. And to export the video, it's important that you do not just render out this setup. You can do so, but I actually included a bunch of export compositions and you see them inside this render export compositions folder. And you see we have really a bunch of options here. So we have 4K renders with 25 frames, 30 frames, 50 frames. We have Ultra HD resolutions and different frames per second. And we also have HDTV. If you need a lower resolution and want to save a little bit of render time, then you can use these. You can, of course, also create your own export compositions. So to export, you just choose your resolution. Let's say we want to export this at Ultra HD 30 frames, double click, and you see that now the audio is also added and you can just add this to your render queue or send this to the Adobe Media Encoder. Now, one more hint, if you want to do a bit more of a color correction, then you can go to the setup composition and you can unhide all layers. And by unhiding all layers, you get access to all the layers that are building this animation. And if you want to change the look of these particles, then directly select the main particle layer. And you see that there is a bit of color correction going on here. And yeah, I had to apply this directly to the particle layers because I do not want to influence the logo. So I did not use adjustment layers here and I didn't want to pre-compose too much. So if you want to change the look of the particles, the color correction, then you can do this by directly accessing these settings, these curves here. 
And let's say we want to make this a little bit more greenish. So I will go to my blue channel. I will just reduce the blues here a bit and you will immediately see what this does. This will have an influence on the look and will make it a bit warmer and will bring out the greens a bit more, maybe like that. And I think that this looks really cool. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial with the customization of this template. If you have any questions, then please feel free to contact me either through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com, or you can also contact me directly through my Video Hive profile. Okay, so I hope that you like this template and that you create some really awesome intros with it. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Audio